Now at 11, what's the difference between fresh and organic? What does hormone-free really mean? I think you have to come with a lawyer and a rabbi to figure out what does it say. Tonight, we take a walk on the wild side and find out what you should really be looking for when shopping for chicken. Well, when you head to the grocery store aisles, many of you face a dizzying sea of labels. Tonight, we help you navigate through them. Plus, we'll show you how you, the consumer, are having a major effect on the entire poultry business. Here's CBS4 Chief Investigator Michelle Gillen. We have seen uh, an explosion in the United States on wanting to know where our food comes from. And what's in it. Yeah, and absolutely what's in it. This is the chicken tikka. Do you know what's in your chicken? For many of you, it's your number one choice for dinner. Eight billion chickens are consumed in the U.S. every year. From supermarkets to kitchens, slaughterhouses to farms, our investigation begins here. In the world of poultry, it's a picture postcard setting, a small family farm in the heart of David. Here, Mati Katsir says it's all about what is not on the menu for his livestock and birds. No chemicals, no soy, no GMOs, and no antibiotics. Uh, like, uh, I call them out of control chicken. Out of control <laughs> chicken. Here, free to roam means just that. Taking sand baths, they are hanging in the sun. Of course they like me, I give them food. They dine when they're hungry, and most importantly, he says, they're not fed or exposed to drugs, making headlines, antibiotics. When I think about antibiotics in the food production system, I think of an overuse that's happening. Minimalizing humans' exposure to the impact of antibiotics in our food, including chicken and eggs, is critical, says Susan von Gruters, a policy analyst for the coalition Keep Antibiotics Working. We're looking at a public health crisis. That's what the World Health Organization calls it. Given the global threat of antibiotic-resistant infections that sicken humans. They can cause antibiotic resistance to occur, and we're at risk of catching infections that can no longer be treated with antibiotics. Concerned by consumers and some companies are fueling a growing search to know and identify what's in the food you're buying. It's very difficult to know what you eat anymore. You buy at the store, and the store sell you, and they tell you it's a, it's a lamb, it's a chicken, uh, cage-free, roam-free. There is so many names and so many definitions that I think you have to come with a lawyer and a rabbi to figure out what does it say. Or shop with Trish Shelton. Labeling is extremely important. A labeling expert and advocate for transparency when it comes to what's in our food. She's co-leader for the campaign GMO Free Florida. We went shopping and had Trish walk us through a sea of labels. Her top choices? Look for products that carry multiple certifications. When I'm looking for chicken and eggs, um, I want to look for the non-GMO project label. And that's because they have stringent research and uh, chemical testing that they do. Um, so I especially like to look for the USDA organic symbol. Some consumers assume that when they see a label saying fresh or natural, that it means it's organic, free of pesticides and anti antibiotics. Just because it says natural doesn't mean there's no antibiotics in it. Correct. Bear in mind that some labels, such as no hormones added, may imply to you that the product is superior to others. But fact is, the FDA has banned the use of hormones in poultry, so companies that advertise no hormones are just following the law. Eggs count too. These hens enjoyed a sunlit porch view. I'm looking to see that it's pasture raised, that they're allowed to roam. Those are a week old. In the end, many advocates say change is on the horizon. Supporters of minimalizing your exposure to antibiotics applaud decisions by major suppliers and food chains, including McDonald's, the world's largest restaurant chain, and its plan to limit antibiotics in chicken. I thought it was a long time coming. McDonald's can drive the food industry, especially the fast food industry. And when you are that large of a buyer and that large of an industry, change will happen across the entire landscape. In fact, Costco announced the same just days later. Labeling advocates say consumers are driving change and industry is listening. 
Now, the use of antibiotics in chicken can be complicated. They can be used to treat sick animals, but also to promote growth. We reached out to the National Chicken Council, which shared this perspective. While antibiotics that are important to human medicine are minimally used when raising chickens, by December 2016, under FDA guidance, these antibiotics will be labeled for use in food animals only to prevent disease and treat sick birds. Also, we extend a thank you tonight to the Miami Culinary Institute and Miami-Dade College, which allowed us into their kitchens. They've been at the forefront of supporting organic farming. Back to you. All right, Michelle, thank you. Thank you, Michelle. All right. So